Yeah, my name is Steve Dawes. I'm the assistant director for UAW Region 1D. And you, uh, local or your region, covers the Flint uh, area, and we're talking about how did this thing happen and why did it happen, this uh, water crisis there. And you were saying that, uh, that, they, that people knew that this was going to be a problem and yet they continued to use the water from the Flint River? Almost immediately, when they switched over the water, people in Flint started complaining about the color and the smell and, um, and uh, many other complaints. Uh, one, of our, one of our General Motors plants noticed right away that the engine blocks were coming out of the machining center where they have water, you know, water coolant um, for cutting. Uh, they were rusting, rusting almost immediately. So they switched over to the Flint Township water. And there was a lot of mistakes made by, by the, uh, uh, the people who had control of the switchover, which was basically the, uh, the governor and his appointed Darnell Early. At the time, it would have been Mike Brown, <clears throat> then Kurtz, and then uh, Darnell Early. When they, when they made this switch, like I said, they made several mistakes. First of all, they didn't do enough research on, on the water itself. There's a big difference when you draw water out of the Great Lakes and how much you have to treat it and the, and the, and the cleanliness of that water to start with versus when you take it out of a, uh, a river. And, and the Flint River is not a very big river. I mean, there's some, there's some spots in it that are only uh, you know, a few feet deep. So you get a lot more, you know, the runoff is contained more in the water. The, uh, any kind of... Um, uh, are there, are they, there chemicals from the factories that are going into the, the toxins? No, no, but you can like, take like, um, when, you get, when you have, uh, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of Canadian geese, you know, so the E. coli is always an issue uh, in, 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 in shallower rivers. You have the runoff from farm fields and, and road salt and all that type of stuff that you know doesn't get dissipated out over. Uh, you know, it's kind of like taking some some or anything and you put it, you know that would dirty up water and put it in a 55 gallon drum. You know, it's not going to dirty it up at first. You put it in a in a cup. So that that was one of the big problems with the Flint River. Well, you but, said that the question of the chemicals, that, that they could have added chemicals and they didn't to save money? Is that they what were, we're... They were supposed to, and we're being told it's federally mandated, that they were supposed to put the anti-corrosive uh, chemical into the, into the water, but because it was a cost of around $100 a day, they chose not to do it.